Welcome back to STEM Bins 101. I'm Brooke Brown from Teach Outside the Box, and today I'm sharing with you my five top ways to implement STEM Bins in your class. These are wonderful methods that can be applied all throughout your day, all throughout the curriculum, and I'll be honest, a lot of these ideas I've gotten straight from you guys, straight from my followers. It has been so cool to watch all the different ways that you are infusing STEM Bins in your day that are very, very creative and very, very innovative. So my first way, my top way to implement STEM bins in your class is actually the reason I invented STEM bins in the first place, which is a solution for early finishers or your fast finishers in your class. Teachers know that this has been a problem forever. It's been a problem since I first started teaching, and it's a problem that a lot of other teachers come to me asking for advice. What do I do with my kids who finish their work early, specifically my more advanced students? Maybe something different than just giving them another worksheet or giving them another book to read. Some of our kids need something a little bit different. And so I thought to myself, instead of giving our kids just more work, how about giving them something that is more meaningful work? And more importantly, what can I create for them that is always there and always ready that's gonna prevent them from interrupting my guided reading groups, interrupting my instruction and saying, what do I do when I'm finished, right? We know we hear that all of the time from our kids. The great thing about STEM bins for early finishers is that they are always there. Once you go over those procedures and expectations and routines with your kids, they know that they can turn their work in, they can go grab any STEM bin, any set of task cards, and go find a quiet work spot away from the kids that are still working, and then they have a quiet moment to engineer and be engaged. Kids are not going to get tired of STEM bins either, which is something that is easy for our early finishers, and they can be used for as little as three to five minutes which means it's easy for them to clean up, put them away, and move on to the next activity. My second top way to implement STEM bins in my class is by using them for morning work, meaningful paperless morning work, which means you're not wasting any more time at the copy machine, you're not wasting any time prepping things because they are always readily available for your kids to create as soon as they come in in the morning. Not only that, but it provides an outlet for a lot of our students, something that is hands-on, something that allows them to socialize and be engaged as soon as they come in in the morning. And it's something that's going to save you a lot of time as the teacher because there is no prep involved. So when you're considering using STEM bins for morning work in your classroom, you might consider using what's called a daily routine so that your students know what to expect each day. This is a schedule that was shared with me by a teacher on Instagram named Two Girl Stuff, and I love how it provides a variation of what they are doing each day, but it also gives them some sort of predictability when it comes to what they're expecting. So Monday is called Maker Monday, and your kids are gonna free invent with no task cards involved. That is always one of their favorite things to do. Task Card Tuesday, they're using the task cards that are included with the kits. Writing Wednesday, she has some sort of writing prompt for them or you can use the quick writes that I'll go into a little bit more in depth in one of my later videos. For Thinking Thursday, the teacher presents a specific challenge. So usually that's going to be giving them one task card. So she might take one task card, put it on the document camera, make it larger, and the entire class completes that challenge together. And then Friend Friday, we're really honing in on those people smarts. They're engineering with a partner or a small group and having some time to socialize with their peers. So morning work is one of my favorite ways to use STEM bins, and I love how there is a predictable daily routine. Keep in mind you can use that routine during makerspace time or during free choice time and not only during your morning work time. So my third favorite way to implement STEM bins in my class is during center time. And the beauty of STEM bins is they can be implemented in a huge variety of your centers. So kindergarten and first grade teachers, you can talk about play-based centers. Those are perfect for STEM bins. You can also infuse them into science centers, math centers, and literacy centers. Very easy to motivate our kids to go to a center where they get to play and build before they write. It's very quickly going to become one of your kids' favorite centers, and it's also a wonderful opportunity for them to collaborate with partners and small groups and group centers. My fourth favorite way to implement STEM bins in my class is through team building. And when you consider team building and character building, a lot of times you're considering very early in the school year when you're trying to build that classroom family or at the very end of the school year. But the truth is team building is valuable and critical all year long. I have a pack of specific team builders that I'll put the link for below that has 12 specific challenges for your students to complete. They only need one STEM bin per challenge and your kids can get in groups of two or three. 
Stations around the classroom are a perfect way to implement this, and you can do three or four stations or even set them all up at once. But what makes these little challenges different is not only are they working on the specific task together, they're also focusing on specific character skills that you want to encourage in your students. So they're focusing on perseverance, they're focusing on effort, they're focusing on improvement, creativity, all skills that we really want to hone and improve in our kids. After they are finished with the challenge, they then reflect on their character skills and how they performed working with their group. So they have a spot for a blueprint, they record their test, and then they show a specific example of evidence for how they showed that character trait. So not only did I show optimism, but how did I show optimism? How did I show improvement and how did I show perseverance? So team builders are a wonderful way to kind of introduce STEM bins to your kids at the beginning of the year and really encourage that family building and those character skills that we want to encourage in our students. So your students can also have some reward certificates if they're really going above and beyond in those character skills, you can slip them an individual reward, kind of reinforcing those character skills that we want to see all year long. And my fifth and final way to implement STEM bins in your class is actually something that I recently implemented in my room, which is through a calm down center or calm down construction. So most teachers have an area of their classroom, maybe a take a break spot, or maybe a calm down area where we can either ask our students to go or they can go there on their own to de-escalate, to control their behavior, to regulate their emotions. And I wanted there to be something in that center that is hands-on and engaging for our kids that really need that outlet. And STEM bins are the perfect way to do that. So in a calm down center, your kids have a feelings chart so they can evaluate how they are feeling when they go to the center. They're going to write about how they feel when they first visit the center. They're going to use one of the STEM bins there is, that is provided, usually one of my softer and more comforting materials I put in, this, in the STEM bins calm down construction area. And then they build one of calming structures. So they can use Lego, they can use anything that is their favorite calming material to use is what I would encourage. They have a quiet moment to de-escalate, to regain that control. They can breathe, they can build, and then they are ready to rejoin the group. There are also QR code videos that link to breathing exercises for them to really regain that control. They can have a device that they can scan the QR codes and then they're ready to rejoin. So those are my top five ways to implement STEM bins in your class. Another idea that I recently heard from another teacher is to use them for behavior incentives. What's amazing about engineering is that it is so motivating for our kids and it can be used as a way to reward our kids when they meet certain behavior goals or to reward your entire class with extra STEM bins time when they do the right thing. They're also wonderful for fine motor practice, and anytime you have a classroom maker space or a school maker space, they are a developmentally appropriate form of engineering for your elementary kiddos. So I hope those ways are exciting and helpful for you to implement STEM bins in your class. Check out my next video with all my tips and tricks for how to organize your STEM bins, how to manage them effectively, and set up those routines and expectations for your kids.